so children uh, in the previous uh, this one we were discussing about the uh, collenchymatic tissue and you have learned the two simple tissues are parenchyma and collenchyma and what is their nature yes they are living tissues now if you see you are able to see some items displayed on the table what is this you i i hope you have all recognized this this is your coconut walnut and this is your leaf and this is of course your jute and there are some seeds over here these are some seeds now you may be wondering why i have put them on display now observe this coconut you all must have seen this coconut is covered with a hard covering if you feel it it is very hard as hard as stone and this and furthermore it is covered with this hairy structures okay hairy structures now what are all these these are actually the third category of simple tissue called as your sclerenchymatic tissue but then it is much different from parenchyma and collenchyma you may wonder what is the difference now if you see is there any life in them no that means they are dead in the sense they are made up of dead cells so remember sclerenchyma is a simple tissue which is dead by nature okay and these no you uh, what uh, what is dead yes that uh, something a cell which does not contain cytoplasm so now if you see these sclerenchyma are actually of two kinds one uh, the cells sclerenchymatic cells are actually of two types one the fibrous one and the other very hard one as stone that is why these all are also called as stone cells and these are called as sclerites these are called as what as sclerites or fibers now so now i think by this time you must have understood their function what is their function yes you are right children they act as a protective covering and are they hard and strong yes very stronger than compared to collenchyma where you all have learned even collenchyma provides mechanical support these also provide mechanical and protective support to the plant so now do we find such kind of covering in the plants yes just tell me where else can you just guess yes if you see what is this a walnut so the seed is enclosed the fruit is enclosed in the hard covering uh, uh, the, again uh, uh, this is also your stone cell so the skin and climatic which will be a protective covering now remember children this jute is uh, the um, fiber of the coconut is used for making your coil you all have learned about this in your fabric from fiber in the previous 6th uh, standard similarly this is jute now there is a difference this fiber is very soft and this fiber is very rough one hard fiber and these are what are soft but the uh, origin of these two fibers is again sclen and kaima so apart from being found as a protective covering for the seeds or for the fruit they are also found even in the seed as the seed coat if you see the seed coat the peel so you see children so this is the seed coat similarly for another seed see it can be peeled off so what is the purpose of this seed coat to protect the developing seedling so do we observe this in every sort of seeds yes definitely so where are these clear and climatic cells found as a protective covering in the seeds uh, in the covering of the fruits and even in the uh, in your leaf mid uh, mid rib or the vein so if you observe this vein is nothing but your conducting tissues about which we will be learning later so this is also being covered by water sclerenchymatic tissue to protect it from any kind of external injuries to provide support and strength to these conducting tissues